Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred and Griffin? Jesus, how in the hell? The winners of the Dozen yes. are turning into big screaming hoggers. The movie's called Get And that is of the Dozen season. That is correct. 14 13. Bendings, which stick for life. Ponies pulling up. All right, it's the Dozen match 22 of season four of the Dozen match 358 overall. Uh, big week of the Dozen here. Uh, last four week match of 2023. Top 10 matchup. Number 10, Smock and number nine, XYZ. I got Chicago against the Booze Ponies. Uh, I got Experts versus Foreplay this week. And then your mom against the Ice Dogs. So a full four match week. Against two teams that have played, it's well, XYZ did win their first day. They scored like 19 points their first match, but close match in their second one. Smocking, very close first match and then par for the course and overtime match in their second one. Um, Large, how we, how we doing, Large? I don't feel good about this match. I remember if you guys do, this was the worst loss um, almost ever incurred on uh, the dozen, certainly our worst loss. So this team is essentially the pool table where, where Jody Foster. It's a reference to uh, accused. So that's it. Yeah, I don't feel that confident. I don't feel that happy about playing, to be quite honest with you. Um, thinking about turning off and walking away, but I'm going to cut it out. <laughs> yeah, can we do that, Jeff? Can they just forfeit? And we, can- <laughs> yeah, we need a win. Like, like, honestly, we'll take a win however we can get it. The only way we yeah, can Lars, don't offer that up. They they will absolutely take it. They'll, they'll be like, yes, please. I'm, I'm shocked, number 10 team, because I had never uh, met Mark until he was in the office after he had done um, the remote dozen with us. So I was like, where the fuck did they get this guy? Right? Like, Mark, you were, you were, before you were, like, officially hired and stuff like that. And uh, – I was I was like, well, uh, we can just bring people in, <laughs> and uh, and then now I, I, you guys are an uh, an unstoppable force. I'm surprised you're not mopping this fucking oh. league up. But it's nonetheless, tough. we're going to go through. We have a great uh, niche category uh, for Jake Marsh today, and uh, prepare to be uh, whelmed. The niche the niche is nearing the end of the road. By the way, we're we're, we're like I feel like we're kind of running out of out of options. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll get there in round ten. Nincy. We are on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four-day tape delay. Good, uh, good. Glad, okay. glad to hear that. You know, I mean, <laughs> we don't need any more misunderstandings. Uh, things, I don't think there's anything to spoil it's right like now. Jeff, so. Jeff, it's the cycle of my barstool life. It's like goodwill gets built up for months. Everything's going too good, and then there has to be a crash, and then we start the cycle of building up again. It's been going on for three and a half years. So we were due for one of those, you know. Um. Former champion of the dozen, Ben Mintz. Uh, this match brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. They're sponsoring the uh, bonus round, which is the regularly showdown bonus round, the closest guest round. Also, the double sip lifeline, one of three lifelines. You can answer a question two times. You also have call a friend, uh, call anybody you want uh, in this, uh, I guess, in the league or out of the league. And then you ha- you can pair those two together, and then you have your double up. You can double in a category you want except for round 10. That's the niche category round. That's already worth two points. Uh, Smock, and you're up first every time. Oh, one and one. Uh, very close loss to ZD in overtime in your last match. Jack was the close loss to experts in your last match. One, one and oh. Titus final answer person, large final answer person. Here we go. 35 seconds on the clock once I'm done reading the question. First category is Major League Baseball. This is for Smokin. A one time All Star, Will Myers has the second most home runs for this National League team since 2010, totaling 134 home runs from 2015 through 2022. 35 seconds. I'm pretty sure I know this. Go ahead, Mincy. I think it's the Padres. That's what I thought oh, too, yeah. Mincy. So yeah. we'll final, go with, let's go that. Yeah, we'll go with Padres. Final answer. That is correct. One nothing off the top. One nothing. Save Other right. side, XYZ tied up. A one-time All Star, Miguel Sano, has the second most home runs since American League team since 2010, totaling 162 home runs from 2015 through 2022. Twins. Twins. Final answer. Love it. Quick yeah. one to one. I love a good high-scoring affair today. That'd be fun. Uh, celebrity mashup. Anyone want a double? What do you think, Ken Jack? Well, should we wait for music? I feel like you guys have been crushing music. Okay. 
Yeah, Mincy, are you good at this celebrity match? Terrible at this. I've never. Okay, got, I no, can't, yeah, we'll no. save our double. We'll save our double. We'll save our double. How about us, guys? Do we want to? I'd say no. no. I think we'll pass. Got it. And we're not going to double either. Okay, no double music. It might might be a dueling music double. Two very good Ooh. music teams. Here we go. Celebrity mashup. Name the two celebrities mashup in this photo. It's for Smokin. <clears throat> Sorry. That is Kurt Russell and Emily, Emily Blunt. Maybe <clears throat> the chin. It looks like a lot like Emily Blunt's head. That chin is so extended. It's really fucking me up. Yeah, dude. I mean, I I like Emily Blunt. Um, but I, like, there's no real distinctive features on the outside. Five, four. We'll go Kurt Russell, uh, Emily Blunt. Final answer. That is correct. Oh, oh Ken Jack. <laughs> That's one of the rare, I feel like, the, the outfit gives off Emily yeah. Blunt. The outfit's a giveaway. <laughs> very, very. Is she British? Yes, very. She's, oh, very British. she's like, if you do like top three, like most British actress, like she's definitely top three. She's like, extremely yeah. British. She played fucking I me. Mean, she played Mary Poppins. So it's like, uh, here we go. Other side. Uh, that's the girl from Marvel's Marvel. I have no clue. And then the inside is, uh, large, you know, no, I mean, I'm looking at it. it Is it, is it it James Khan on the inside? 10 seconds. No, No, it's uh, who's the girl from the Marvel's what's her name again? I, I can't. I can't think of it. I can only think of that guy that saw it like a thousand times. Three more, so maybe uh, Robert Redford. Final answer. Ooh. Other side. Oh, I would have guessed him. Oh, that was exactly what my guess was. Brie Larson, Robert Redford. That is one hundred percent Robert Redford in the middle, and that definitely looks like Brie Larson on the outside. Yeah. So, which one do you think was wrong? Five, four, I don't three. Jeff- Jeff, we're going to go Brie Larson, Robert Redford. Final answer. <laughs> just, just push it through. See oh, if it... So <laughs> Try it again. Uh, it is a Marvel actress. It's Scarlett Johansson and Robert Redford. Oh, that, that oh. looks like Brie Larson's big oh. ass forehead, to be honest. <laughs> that is Bob Redford, though. Shout out to Robert hey, Redford. Going okay. for uh, NBA next category. NBA. This is four. This is four. Smokin. Acquired in the Carmelo Anthony trade, this forward averaged 16.2 points per game and shot 86% on free throws at Denver from 2011 through 2017. Um, is, this yeah. Dar- is this Dario Gallinari? Yeah, that was my first guess of Gallo. But like, I know he was in that like, trade. Yeah. Who else was in that trade? I mean, that's definitely my first first guess. Yeah, it's got to be Gallo. Or wait, wait, Good. or Wilson Chandler? Yeah, that's the other one. He was in that trade too. We could double sip it and guarantee we get one of them. I yeah. don't know how long Gallinaro was on Denver. Is my is my or Chandler for that matter? Yeah, no, they both were in that trade for sure. Yeah. I mean, we All can right, we'll, double, double, we'll, double, we'll double sip. We'll double sip. Okay, first guess in three. Gallinaro. I need a full name. Danilo Dario Gallinari. Dario Gallinaro. <laughs> Didn't that's another guess. It's it's other side. It's. Is Wait, it Gallinari? We double sipped, right? Oh, yeah, double sipped, double sipped, yep. Is it Gallinari? Five. Yeah, Gallinari. Four. Daniel Gallinari. Wilson Chandler. Gallinari, Jeff, final answer. Because we, we have it Ken right. Jack said it. <laughs> Ken yeah. Jack said it right the second time. Ken yeah. Jack said it right the second time. Yeah. Danilo, I didn't right. know it. He Danilo said, Ken Jack said, Ken Jack said Danilo Gallinari the second time. Yeah, I we said it every time. Well, when we no, saw no, no, the first one, no. Great the first one was very distinctly, hold on, distinctly Dario Gallinaro was the first guest. That's, yeah, that is very wrong. We said yeah, it wrong. When I said it, I was like, that's not his name. 
Yeah. The second time, I was like, "Wait, no, don't do that. That's not the answer." Yeah, the yeah. second time he said, "He said, you know, the the double step worked. It saved you." Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Great job. This is the strategy for the rest of the game. I'm I'm just gonna say the same answer twice. <laughs> 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 just Other side point. to make it, uh, to make it three to two, three to make it three to two. According to the Darren Williams trade, this big man averaged over twelve points per game and seven rebounds per game in his first team in Utah from 2011 through 2019. Uh, I don't know, but we can call my friend Adam. Is it? Oh, go ahead. Utah, in his first stint with Utah, is it Carlos Boozer? I mean, I think he was on the Bulls during that window. True. Yeah. I'd like to call Adam. <laughs> the largest good friend, Adam. All right, you're gonna call your. You're gonna call a friend. You're gonna call a friend. Double sip off the board for Smock and used successfully. Actually, when when you guys said uh, Dario, I immediately messaged Gooch, our, our the rules official here, and I said this is going to be a problem. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's this, this is going to be a nightmare. Fired <laughs> in the Darren Williams trade, this big man averaged over twelve points per game and seven rebounds per game in his first stint with Utah from twenty eleven to nineteen. Um, Derek Favors, Georgia Tech. Derek Favors. That's going to be our final answer is Derek Favor, Favoro, Favori. Favors. Oh, okay. Favors. Uh, favors, yeah, yeah. final answer. Didn't matter. Somebody said it correctly. Three to two. <laughs> Dario Favors. That's correct. That's, your friend Adam has a lot of Che in his voice. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a secret Che. <laughs> um, that's what Titus, Titus, nothing Titus wants more than a secret Che. <laughs> <laughs> uh, music. Yak playing next week. Um, music. Do we want to? Is this a double double? Yeah, yeah let's. Do this. Yeah, let's what double. Large. Sure. Yeah, let's double double. Sounds good. All right. Uh, X Y Z twelve and three since last year in this Smokin very good. Obviously, Mincy good at music as well. Here we go. This is for Smokin though for two points. Title is nineteen ninety three song. Did you have to? Did you have to let it linger? Linger. I saw cranberries. Is that correct? Linger or let it? I think linger, not let it linger. Right? Yeah, I think it's just linger. What do you think, Metsy? Uh, linger. Final answer. Double is correct. Five to two. Haven't missed yet. Double. Other side to make it five to four. Ninety-two song. Uh, one by you two. Uh, one. Final answer. That is correct. I don't know if that was like a question to the team, but oh, that is a very correct music guess. Five to five. four. Good scoring so far. Doubles off the board. You successfully. Two of the rare good music teams. Not a lot of good well rounded music teams. Here we go. <clears throat> NFL next category. This is for Smocking. <clears throat> The most rushing yards by a player out of the NFC North from 2000 to 2009 was by this running back in 2003. Uh, Rudy. Yeah, that's. Johnson? Or whatever his name is. What'd you say? What's his name? Rudy. Is it Rudy Johnson? The Bengals guy? He was really good for this. NFC. NFC. Oh, NFC. sorry, sorry, sorry. Packers, Bears, Lions, Vikings. How about Adrian Peterson? Adrian no, this Peterson? Is, this, is, this is. 2003. This is before Adrian Peterson. Who's Packers running back? What about Amon uh, Green? Amon Green. Amon Green. Amon Green. Amon Green. Uh, Amon Green. Final answer. Six to four. Still haven't oh, missed. Nice. Yeah, Crushing. Wow. Oh. Nice job. Fellas. I think it's six to five. The most rushing yards by a player out of the NFC North from 2000 to 2009 was by this running back in 2008. Yeah. NFC South, excuse me, NFC South, NFC South. I got my, my head mixed up. In 2008? I have a few options in mind. We might end up double sipping. Yeah. I, um, I, I, <coughs> sorry. Warwick Dunn? 
I was thinking. Uh, in 2008, I feel like that was past his time. Yeah, I, th- I was thinking Michael Turner from the Falcons. Um, okay. Michael Turner from the Falcons. Or, 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 uh, or D'Angelo Williams. Ten like, seconds. Double sip? For Carolina, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Double- I'm double sipping. I don't really know. We're going to double sip, Jeff. And our first double sip is going to be vodka. First I'll guess. On board, delicious vodka, cool, crisp taste. Nothing better with a couple of olives and maybe a little shot of caviar. What's your first guess, uh, Jake Marsh? Michael Turner. From the Michael Falcon. Turner is our first guess. That's your only guess. That's correct. Six to five. Sorry, we burned it, guys. Being safe. Good that's double sip, though. That's that's the the nice thought job. process. Nice job, Jake. Yeah, the thought process, that was a smart double sip. Yeah. Um, movies next category. Six to five. Great match. Here we go. This is for Smokin'. Nope. Wrong one. Meryl Streep played Margaret Thatcher in this 2011 movie, winning Best Actress at the Oscars Great. in the process. Great. The Iron Ladies were just her name. That was in the movie. Uh, <laughs> Streep is Thatcher. It's just a fucking wet dream. <laughs> That's why we use the phone of friends so early, because Ken Jack's our phone of friend. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Probably our most our most consistent phone a friend. Ten I, seconds. I, I have Tell an me. idea. It's just like I'm not sure enough. So if we have a phone a friend, I'm down to be easy. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know, know this. Four, three. I'd say two. The, say the okay, whatever Ken Jack said. Final answer. The Iron Lady. Final answer. That, that is that. Yeah. Yeah. That is correct. It is the Iron Lady. Six to six. Inflated in my head. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> to take the lead. First miss for Smock, and it's a steal by XYZ. Gary Oldman played Winston Churchill in this 2017 movie, winning Best Actor at the Oscars in the Prophet. Uh, yeah. Um, Jake, you because they, they made him fat and old, and I had a big yep. problem with that. So it's darkest hour of final answer. Up yours. Seven to six, two movie points, and it's a seven to six game. X, Y, Z. Late steal. Only steal the first half. We go to the showdown bonus round. Get your pens and papers out. Another close match. Time to make the donuts. Showdown bonus round time. Here's how this works. It's worth two points. It's either going to be an eight to seven lead for Smokin or nine to six lead for X, Y, Z. Uh, closest guest battle. Uh, with Titus, you'll throw someone out there. Then Large will. They'll go head to head, one on one, giving a closest guess answer. You can go over. No price is right rules. If you get it right, you get a point. If you get it dead on, you get two points. First team to three points gets the two points for the match. Uh, cannot help your teammates. Everyone must go at least once. Uh, who do you want to have go first? Titus. I'll lead from the front, Jeff. I'll go first. Okay. Against Large? Um, who wants to go up against Titus? I will. I'll yeah. be your champion. Indiana on Indiana crime. Indiana right. versus Indiana. Sounds good. All right. Here we go. Here's your question. Rotten Before Tomatoes you know, critics score. Is it not just basketball? Is that what going to be the question? Over? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Rotten yeah. Tomatoes critics score for Jim Carrey's Grinch movie. The critics score? Critic score for Jim Carrey's Grinch movie. Okay. All right. Pens down. Answer first. Titus, what do you got? I had 49 on the brain, so I went 49. <laughs> okay. Vibs. Yeah, the critics love Ron Howard. I went 84. Okay. The correct answer is... 49 percent dead on. Wow. Wait, don't we get a oh, don't we get shit. The Eddie rule? I'm sorry, team. I'm sorry. That is the Eddie rule, so it's two to nothing. Right. Let's go. Wow. The Eddie rule. Just, is the I mean, cinema. How can it be? That's it. That's unreal. I knew people. I, I knew people. I knew it was like a divisive movie, and then I I had the uh, in 49 states it's just basketball thing on my brain, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'll write 49." <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. Okay. Move. Titus, what do you want to have go next? Uh, Ken Jack, you go. 
Uh, uh, Brandon Staley just got fired, so I'm just reacting to some stuff. But so, okay, Mincy, Mincy, you go. Right. Mincy, you go. Huge. Yeah. Mincy, you go. Mincy, Ken Jack, you're out. Mincy, you're in. Win it for us. <laughs> large. Um, I'll I'll go. Okay, Mincy against large. Here's this is a great quest. I think it's a great quest for the two of you. Total Emmy nominations for The Sopranos. Total Emmy nominations for The Sopranos. Mincy knows Sopranos. I'm not sure he's an awards guy, but total Emmy nominations for The Sopranos. Mincy, how many seasons of The Sopranos were there? there. Don't answer that, Mincy. Oh, you? Don't answer that, Mincy. Write <laughs> your answer, Mincy. Titus. Titus, I've been friends with Mincy for a long time. I wish you wouldn't get in the fucking middle. Mincy, tunnel vision, Mincy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tight. 49. Fuck you. Uh, Ben's down in five. Hold four, on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, three. Go. Dude, it's, it's like a fake. It's a fake timer. Okay. I'll let you write it down. Mincy reveal. 47. Oh, Jesus. March. I said 49. I said 107. Correct answer is 112. Whoa. Two to one. Two to I got an old good job. Smocking though with that with that two pointer that's big. Like two seasons, the last season was large. Um, here we go. Ken Jack against Jake Marsh. Ken Jack against Jake Marsh. I love how this the year the original like Family fe- Feud debuted. Ooh, year the original Richard Family Feud debuted. The Richard Dawson years. Richard Dawson, yeah. Oh, oh my God, I picked the wrong fucking day. What would you have done for just a smooch for Richard Dawson? <laughs> oh, man, back in the day, that guy was a fucking Petri dish. I put it right on his fucking lips. Did, did you guys see that story that was like Richard Dawson had people tested for herpes so he could kiss them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a pimp. Yeah. <laughs> Jake, All right. I just, Andrew- I just texted you, Jake. <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Ken Jack. 1990. 1990. Jake Marsh. 1972. Oh, yeah. Correct answer is 1976. Yeah. Two to two. I used to watch it on Game Show Network. Yeah. Two to two. Yeah, you, would you go to your grandparents' house and watch? I watched it at my house. I'm not. Oh, sure. I, my grandparents had Game Show Network, and whenever we go down there, we always just watch that all the time. Clearly, we need Titus to bail us out here. Titus, right, okay. are you going to? I'll do it. You're going to do okay, it. This is it, right? Other so side, large. Large. Tires. Is, is this is for the win? This is uh, both are, yeah. Whoever yeah, gets yeah. it wins. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Large. I'll go ahead and win. Large, take it home. Large, do you want to go? Oh, we, don't, we can switch it up? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I'll do a second one. Okay. Combined age of Rob Thomas and Carlos Santana, the oh. musician, not the baseball player, obviously. I would say that Rob Thomas – Combined age of Rob Thomas and Carlos Santana. Who's ever closest wins the bonus round. Either a one-point lead for Smokin or a three-point lead for XYZ. A lot of points left, though. And Smokin has our call a friend, too. It's going to be some math. I didn't know there was going to be math involved. Titus was a collegiate athlete. It's going to be tough. What's up? Funny question, pal. And down in five, four, three, two, one. One. Titus reveal. 127. You said 127. Large reveal. Oh, no. <laughs> 129? Yes. Yeah. Correct answer is fucking 127. Titus Ooh! did it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, Holy shit, Jeff. Shit. Did we win the match? Did we win the whole match? <laughs> That's I mean, funny. Titus, I can't believe it. Wow. That's wow. wow. That is. That is wild. That is unreal. I mean, amazing guess by large too. But like, holy crap, dude! That's, that's awesome. why I'm that's why I'm preseason third team right there. What, uh, <laughs> what, right there. what, are, the, uh, what are the ages on them individually? I had I had um, uh, forty eight and seventy nine. That's how I came at one twenty seven. Rob Thomas is fifty one. Oh, so yeah. seventy six fifty one. Wow! Holy crap! Eight to seven though. Really close match. College football next category. College football. This is for Smokin. 
A 2016 second-round pick to an AFC East team, this Penn State QB threw for over 8,000 yards and 48 touchdowns from 2013 through 2015. Uh, I got wait, 35 seconds. I, right? I got this 100. I got this. Is Christian Hackenberg 100? Hackenberg, Hackenberg, final answer. Nine to seven. Oh, yeah, XYZ to make it nine to eight. Uh, this is always tough for us. The 2013 third round pick to an NFC South team, this North Carolina State QB threw for over 7,000 yards and 62 touchdowns from 2011 through 2012. Jacoby Brissett? Uh, Was he drafted? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, Wait, Russell Wilson? Is that Russell Wilson? Mincy knows it. I feel like he – no, because he transferred to Wisconsin, so there's no way he – Right. No, he played in the Super Bowl in 2013. Oh, pick to an NFC South team. Fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck. Sorry. So it's not Saints. Uh, Need an answer in? Five, four, Go Brissett. three. Go Brissett. It's, yeah. Jacoby Brissett. It's, it's not Jacoby that. Jacoby Brissett, final answer. All right, I got this 100%. It's Mike Glenn, and he went to the Bucks. So let's yeah, go, I man. Did. Final yeah. answer. Ten to seven. Oh, yeah, Two man. points back to Smokin after the movie lost one. Here we go. I was really worried. I thought y'all were about to call. Shut Craig. up, Mitzi. <laughs> no, 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 we got it. You know college football. Let's keep going. <laughs> My fucking Iron Lady, Darkest Hour. I was too off on a fucking age one to this guy who was hitting home. <laughs> Put the fucking hat on. Let's go. go. Snacks, snacks and candy. Snacks and candy. Uh-oh. This is for Smokin. Right in fucking Mincy's wheelhouse again. What southern chip? Blended, blended with sweet potatoes or multi grain. What chip brain introduced a harvest blends variety in 2023? Holy shit. Oh, uh. Harvest blends. It's like Terra. Uh, oh, I'm eating those damn chips. Is it Terra? It's, it's... Hey, if we don't know, I, that that's my guess, what you just said. that That's it. Cause I've eaten those Terra. sweet potato yeah, it's, I've eaten those sweet potato chips because they're, they're like have a few less. Cold. They're they're delicious. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can't I can't hear what you're saying. I can't really. But I w- so whatever Ken Jack says. T E R A Tara. Tara. Yeah. All right, you want to go with that? That's yeah, it. I, yeah. All right. All right. I trust you guys. Uh, Tara, final answer. The Pringles. Final answer. Ten to eight Pringles. What? Fuck. So large. This year. Healthy King. He's eating cashews. Wow. He's trying to he watch his way. The, the Tara Blue Chips. What chip brand introduced a differently shaped variation from their classic form known as Ridge Twists in 2022? So um, I might blurt something out for Ridge Twists. Does anyone have an idea here? No. Uh, Is it? Yeah, I, kind, I mean, I believe that Ruffles has yes. Ridge, so I'm going to go Ruffles and if nobody cares. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that works. Uh, Ruffles, final answer. Ten to nine. That's our captain. Three straight categories with two points each. College hoops next category. Fuck. College hoops. Anybody here play? <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is for smoking. Jeff, Jeff literally asked me. Majestic mustache played college hoops and is on a fucking Jeff, roll today. Large. Jeff has literally asked me questions about myself, and I've not gotten them right. So. <laughs> Here we go. This is for Smokin. After an NBA stint with the Warriors, Mike Montgomery returned to college to coach what major conference school from 2008 through 2014? Uh, Cal, final answer. Yep. That is correct. Eleven to nine, Cal Berkeley to make it eleven ten. After a stint with the Hornets and Bulls, Tim Floyd returned to college to coach what major conference from two thousand five through two thousand nine? I have no idea. Is it Iowa? Uh, I've never heard of this guy. I, I, I have no idea. Uh, I don't think it was Iowa, but go with a random. I think. It was- I mean, am I crazy? I'm about to get a sports question. If you, hey, brother, yeah, fire you're off. You're our guy. Can we phone a friend? No, we got nothing. You don't have it. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go. I think we're going to go to Iowa. Final answer. Other side. I, was, Jeff, I, 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 have, I have it. I have it. I got it. I got it. I just want to say, I want to set it up by saying, large, large, plug your ears. Plug your ears. You're not going to like Oh, this. no, it's not. Is it Notre Dame? It's Iowa State. Final answer. 
Incorrect. USC. USC. Oh, oh, he was at Iowa State first. He was at Iowa State back. first? Yeah, he was at and Iowa then he, State. That's when he went to – oh. Fuck, I thought – he got, he got uh, an, an egregious – one, Zytus. You got cocky, you son of a bitch. Well, dude, I was worried Large was – if it was Iowa State, when you pulled Iowa, I was like, dude, he's going to blow it I kill myself. Yeah. He had an egregious uh, technical foul called against him in, uh, I guess, uh, I think UNC in, in the in like East Rutherford in the Sweet 16 or something. I've had one sports question this whole fucking tournament since we started playing. Yeah, I, do you remember I, what it is? I, I, know, I know what it was. Wasn't it the kid who played um, linebacker from USC who had that great role? Oh, well, no, then you had two because you did get Chris Birdman Anderson once. I do oh, know right. That. Yeah, I got Chris Birdman Anderson. <laughs> you right, did right. get the Birdman. Right. Um, here we go. 11 9. Next category, niche category time. Oh, this man. is for Smokin, Futurama for Smokin. Wow. Who's that? Ken Jack. In the season two Xmas story episode, Robo Santa is ready to punish everyone for being naughty except Zoidberg, who is gifted what? Logo stick, final answer. Final answer. That is correct. 13 to 9. Four point lead with six points remaining. To make it 13 to 11. Universal Studios Florida, the category. <laughs> Have you seen all this drama about people cutting in line at Disney, Jake? Yeah, I saw that. They, they never do that at Universal. Never. Wow. Never. Here we go. Make it 13 and 11. On Marvel Superhero Island, named after a villain, this ride is two side by side drop towers featuring space shot launches. Doctor Doom's Fearfall. Final answer. <laughs> gets me every time. I love it every time you get it. That's correct. <laughs> Doctor okay. Doom's Fearfall. Four point lead. I mean, to be two point lead with four points remaining. TV next category. TV. This is for Smokin. You get this? Dormy can only can only lose in overtime if you get this. God damn it, Jeff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I almost didn't say it. No, I, I don't even mind the it. comment. I mind the little snicker, you know? like <laughs> <laughs> was the way he said it. Yeah, exactly. Craig T. Nelson played the grandfather of the Braverman family from this large ensemble cast NBC family dramedy from 2010 through 2015. 35 seconds. You are the only team with a lifeline left. You have your call from, but there's still two categories left. Uh, uh, Craig T. Nelson, uh, not just Craig Nelson. These network things suck ass. Who, do we have a phone of friends? Name? Do we have any TV experts we can call here? You have a Braverman family expert? You want to call, call Brandon? I feel like might know this. I don't know who Titus. I mean, yeah, I can call Brandon. I can try it. Do it. I'll, tr I'll try it. I'll call Brandon. He's in Laradice. I know. I'm going to call Brandon. He is in. He is in Wyoming, but he nobody loves to answer him? a phone call like Brandon. Can I call him or do I have to Facetime him? Uh, it just, just get, with this, no, we're beyond that. Just get him on the phone at this point. Yeah, I've never, I've never called anybody on the show before. The worst is if they don't pick up, then you just feel like a loser. Hey, we're doing the dozen. Uh, Craig T. Nelson played the grandfather of the Braverman family from this large ensemble cast NBC family dramedy from 2010 to 2015. I don't watch TV shows. I know. We, I didn't think you did, but we didn't have any other. We, we have a, it's late in the game. We have a Don't phone. Don't watch TV. Well, Craig T. Nelson was also coach. Yeah, we know that. He, we know he's not coach. <laughs> it doesn't help us. Flex on us for not knowing, even though he doesn't know the answer. Is that is – that, what 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 else? Give me something. Or see on this is us. I don't know. Actually, maybe. All right. All right. Five. All right. Four. Thank. Uh, All right. Ten seconds. Final answer. What, what did he say? Parenthood. Final answer. Thirteen twelve. Oh, boy. God, we knew this. Oh. <laughs> to make it. To make it thirteen thirteen. I love how Brandon's just like incredulous as to why I would call him for a trivia question. He's like, "Why would he? Yeah. Have what? What am I the trivia? What am I the trivia guy now?" <laughs> Patricia Heaton had the lead role as a Midwest lower class middle wife, a mi lower middle class wife and mother of three in this ABC sitcom from 2009 through 2018. You get this? It's tied. I'm gonna pretend like I'm really thinking about this one. Oh, hmm. yeah. <laughs> 
Large, Large any ideas? ideas? I don't know this one. I don't even know who Patricia Heaton is. I think she's the well. I can't. Don't help. Yeah. yeah. Know what was a Wood. sitcom that lasted for a decade on ABC? Right. That's good. There's anyone that comes to mind? Is that is? She's a mother. But this is she's a mother from Everyone Loves Raymond, but this isn't it, right? Or is it? Five. Everybody loves Raymond is our final answer. Patricia Heaton's the mom from Everyone Loves Raymond. I mean, it, I get this is a long answer, but is that Goldberg's thing that was like a poor funny comedy Goldberg's thing? Uh, and a, uh, or I, I don't know. Like, I don't know Dick about this. That's just that's just I had a guess. We didn't have a guess. Five. I, I got nothing better. Uh, yeah, Goldberg's. I guess final answer. The middle. The middle. Damn. Is I actually she thought be, be, how quickly he got parenthood. I'm like, this is about to get tied up. Um, is also worth noting, Brandon did need to throw in some form of trivia just yeah. to yeah, exactly. coach yeah, thing. Mr. And Brandon's mind, I all you think of Craig T. Nelson. In Brandon's so mind, he got that right. He was like, <laughs> he did. He's like, I do know something <laughs> no, about Craig T. Nelson, so I was obviously right. right. About Craig T. Nelson. <laughs> Smocking, simple as this. You got this, you win. Oh, Geography. Oh. Geography. Here we go. Name the two least populated U.S. capitals that begin with the letter C. Um, I got one of them for I got, sure. I, I got one of them. Say it, Mincy. Carson City, Nevada. That's okay. Uh, that's the one I had, unfortunately. Okay. okay. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. We're going to go no answer. We're going to go no answer to not help them. Concord, to tie it New up. Hampshire. Concord, New Hampshire. Concord in Carson City. Does really? that work large? I, what are you saying, large? Time and I think, what's the capital of West Virginia? Charleston? No, right? We, Ten uh, seconds. Oh, Charles. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there, it, and it's fucking bleak. Right, right, right. In Concord, right. East Coast, I think that'd be a little. Going to Carson City and Charleston. Concord yes. and Charleston. Concord and Charleston. All right, thank All right. you. We wouldn't have guessed that. We wouldn't have guessed that. We played so. defense. Yeah, I thought Carson defense. City was a fucking Carson shoe. Okay. Uh, here we go to tie it up. You miss it, it's over. Simple as that. And what happens if they get it right, Jeff? Just remind me. You go. What's the. For the Sixth time in two seasons oh, to man. overtime. Okay, that's okay. I do believe if you if you go to overtime, you officially will have played in at least half of the ma- overtime matches the last two that's seasons. Awesome. That's, that's awesome. unbelievable. Yeah, we're all having a lot of pressure on us to get to overtime. Be quite honest. Yeah. Name the two least popular U.S. capitals that begin with the letter A. Get this overtime. You miss it. Smokin wins their first game of the season. I do have a point, though, because they did already lose an overtime. And listen, we just have to get this. So if you guys want to talk out loud, you can, right? Yeah, there's no – there's no – the steel is irrelevant. Right, here. right. Annapolis is the only Annapolis. one I can think of right now. Yeah, so I I go Annapolis. What's the um, – Albuquerque? Ten seconds. Albu- Albuquerque? I don't know. Um, Five Albu- large. Four. Three. Albany? Go with that. Two. Albany. Albany? Albany, o- Albany and Albuquerque. Uh, Final answer? Smokin wins their first match of the season. That is incorrect. Any guess, other side? Uh, I would have said Albuquerque and Annapolis. Me too. Uh, yeah. Uh, Albany. Albuquerque and Albany. We'll go Albuquerque and Annapolis. Final answer. Nobody's saying it. Augusta and Annapolis. Uh, Augusta uh, and Annapolis. Whatever. Victory, boys. First win of the season for Smokin. We'll great it. match. Really great match. Um, a couple double point categories for these teams. Uh, Smokin, usually thinking, you don't know, score in the last two rounds. It's a loss or overtime. It's a win. How about that? You, you as broke trend. Back, as I'm thinking back on it, Jeff, I think the game kind of turned when uh, Large was within two on that one answer. <laughs> but uh, I actually got it exactly right. And I, <laughs> yeah, I would guess that was it, too. Yeah. I also like where you're like, I think my jersey number in AAU was 49. Let's go with that. That was, that was <laughs> real deep fucking thinking, too. 
<laughs> beautiful mustache. Otherwise, I'd punch you in the fucking face. <laughs> um, Great win, guys. Win fucking, a double win, technically. Ken Jack's football team head coach and GM got yeah. fired mid match. It's pretty incredible. Right now. Yeah, sorry, guys. I was also, at, at the same time, though, do you want to fire the guy that you want to tank? He was so bad. Um, high scoring affair 13 to 12. Smocking 1 1 1 and 1, just like they were last season. Uh, Gen XYZ 1 2 and 0. Oh. Uh, I would imagine it'll be a flip of. One team will be 10, one team will be 9 next week. Um, that's it. Great week ahead. Four matches this week. You just saw the first. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Thank you to Instagram Vodka. Thank you for watching. Sorry about the noise next door if you could hear it. Good night, everybody. Good night.